Okay then guys, this time it is the Joyshark JF100 CPU cooler and the question I ask is this competition for Noctua? Let's find out. Okay, terms of benchmarks, I did four tests. Now remember, these tests are for pushing the CPU of 100%, and initially it hits the CPU harder than any game will, so take it from that what you will. Now, Cinebench job 23, the idles were 35, max was 68. Blender Classroom 36 was the idle, max was 66 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles were 37 Celsius, max was 65. 3D Mark CPU test was probably the best max I've seen. The idle was a 36 and the max was a 69 Celsius. Nice. So overall that is what the benchmarks are. And let's get back into the rest of the video. Okay guys, so you saw the benchmark, you saw a bit of the B-roll that I've already filmed. Now yes, aesthetically it is a very nice air cooler. The overall thermals, I kind of expected a little bit better, but for something that's below £30, it isn't bad. I mean you, could, you can get worse. So, you know, I'm just putting it out there. You can get worse. Is it an, a not to a killer? Not really, but what it does have over Noctua is the price. Now Noctua for a 120mm CPU cooler, especially the Redux version, for the same similar one but without the RGB, it is £50. Yes, you do get the, the Noctua quality and yes, the Noctua cooler is built better, but the overall performance, it's not far off. And there is a big difference in price, around 20 to 25 pound difference in price. Now, yeah, this isn't as good quality as Noctua, but this isn't a, it, 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 it isn't in that bracket for quality. It's there for performance. And yes, it's not the best performance CPU cool I've had. Of course it isn't, but it's also not the worst. It is a very good CPU cooler for its price point. And it gets a recommendation from me, and I overall think it's definitely a worth look at. Now, yes, these aren't available over in the UK. They're only available on AliExpress and over in China. Big thank you to Joyshark for sending them out. They sent three coolers out. I've already done the JF100 uh, RS crystal version. That one, very small air cooler, and I loved it. The overall look was gorgeous. But as you can see from here, that's the next one to come up, and this one is the JF200, which is actually built better. It is more of a category of between Thermalright and Noctua, and I really think it's going to blow you minds at the actual performance. So, as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Do not forget to subscribe, because I've got a lot more content coming. I've got BenQ Monta. I've been in talks with Enemax, I've been in talks with Asus, 
as well as Montec as well. And of course, I've got other stuff when it comes to head to head because I really want to keep continue doing that. Which it'll be Be Quiet versus three, uh, Thermal Right this time because it was short, uh, picked on my community post. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, goodbye.